welcome to Storytime. Today we continue with the story of David. Today's title is The Champion of Israel. David continued looking after his father's sheep. Each day he grew in wisdom and strength. He had to be skillful and strong to fight off the wild animals that often attack the flock. David began to use a slingshot to scare off the bears and lions and soon became an expert with it. To while away the time, David also practiced playing his harp and he quickly became very good at this too. News of his skills spread across the land. Meanwhile, Samuel no longer visited Saul at his palace and the king felt distant from God. He had terrible moods and was tormented by an evil spirit. One of Saul's attendants suggested that harp music might soothe the king. David was sent for and indeed, whenever David played, the music calmed Saul. Once the king felt better and David would return home. Then news came that the Philistines had set up camp on one side of the valley. Only a small stream separated them from the Israelite army who were on the other side. The Philistines had a mighty champion in their army, Goliath, nearly three meters tall and stronger than an ox. He paraded up and down day after day, jeering at the Israelites. Where is the champion of Israel? He would shout. Send him to fight me. If he kills me, we will be your slaves. If I'll kill him, you will be ours. But no one would face Goliath. They were all terrified. They were scared. David had three brothers in Saul's army. One day when he was bringing food to them, he heard Goliath's taunts across the valley. Who is he to challenge the army of the living God? David said. Let me go fight him. The soldiers looked at the boy and they laughed. But when Saul heard about this, he sent for David. He fought lions and bears to protect my father's sheep, David told him. God protected me then and he will do so now. Saul eventually agreed. He gave David his armor and his sword. But because the armor was so heavy and large, David couldn't move with it on. So he took it all off and picked up his sling. He chose five smooth stones from the stream and went out to meet the giant. When Goliath saw him coming, he roared with laughter. Is this your champion? He said. I come in the name of the God of Israel, said David calmly. He will put you in my power. He took a stone from his bag, placed it into his sling and took aim. The stone hurtled towards Goliath and struck him on the forehead with such force that it broke his skull. The giant man fell face down on the ground. When the Philistines saw that their hero was dead, they ran into the hills. The joyful Israelites gave chase. Victory and the land of Philistines was theirs. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, that when we at times feel small and we don't feel like we can fight the things that we need to, Lord, the Father God, that you give us strength, Lord God. Lord God, that you give us everything that we need, Lord. And Lord, that we can stand strong and that we do not need to have fear and we do not need to be scared. 
we thank you Lord that you help us to know who we are because we have you in our lives and guiding us. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for story time. Until next time. Bye.